Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this case, we will be learning how to create a slow motion effect. You will be able to retime, make the slow motion of course, accelerate and time warp your RBD effect. If you want to learn more about this, please hop in into my Discord channel where we have a great community and we always help each other with effects. So stay tuned and enjoy the tutorial. Okay guys, if you already done one of my tutorials, which is creating realistic guided simulations, you will remember this small setup. But the building basically twists and falls down based on a force. And he said, okay, I wanted to make this slow motion. And Houdini offers some solutions. Labs Retime, for example, which is a plugin, the Retime, also the Warp, the Time Shift and Time Blend, etc. Et but I didn't like any of those tools, so I created this one on my own. This tool provides the following uh, solution. Look how it slows down. And I can continue. And now it will slow down and go back. With the former tools, I found really hard to do that. And in fact, this is a simple setup and I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so Let's create it on our own. First of all, we will need the following. We will need a time warp and we will set this on by time. And we set this to 240. Now the simulation is like it's supposed to be, one to one. And I'm not going to animate this. In fact, I'm going to just delete the channel. I'm going to leave the first second. So, if I make an add, an add and grab a point, I can then use a soft solver or a, a solver. Let's hop in and let's grab some information. Let's open the geometry spreadsheet. So there are some things that we really want to have here. For instance, the scale. The scale will be used to represent the time if it's one it's going to be normal time so this will be a float set to scale we also want to have an integer which is called prime start it will, it will be chi prime start like so See, now we have these frames, this scale, and we need to make everything else. So we know by fact that on the first frame, depending on where it, this is, we are going to have, if we look back on our simulation, we're going to have the following. If the frame is on the first one we will have an offset of zero but if we go to 24 we'll have an offset of almost one one more frame and it will it will become one so we want to emulate this behavior so in order to do that we're going to do the following then if the frame is equal to frame start the next Thing will happen frame is in this moment one and frame start in this moment is zero let's set it to one we're going to do the following we're going to create an attribute it's going to it called time this is the value we're going to to show or to set the scale to and we are going to basically say the following that this is going to be base frame start minus one divided by FES. On each simulation, the frame start or the time offset of each simulation depends on this value, the FPS. So this will adjust to every Houdini project. If a project is set to 30 frames per second, this will be 30 frames per second. So now that we have this, we need to do the other thing, which is what happens after the fact of the from starting point, right? We're going to write an else. We're going to set frame 
we're we going to set time to plus and plus and equal the scale divided by fps i didn't put a net because in fact i really don't need to have this it will be just float there i think that we are set with this so if we go back we can have the following this star frame will be really useful and we're going to copy and paste relative here right amazing now we will see that we have on scale on the first frame if we simulate time and nothing is going on because we need to set this to let's say one if we reset the simulation see time is evolving when you are in frame 24 i mean 25 we're going to have a time of one starting from zero to one this is how it's supposed to work and this is perfect see it's, if you want to check you need to say okay i'm on frame 37 i mean 73 let's see what happens on the top network on the offset time if we go to start frame being 72 i mean 73 it will be the same so we can say that this works perfectly now we're going to set a null like so and it will be set to out scale or out time and we're going to set the following we're going to set our time being the following to point of out out time we are going to grab the first geometry we are going to grab our time and we're going to grab our first point and we should have a cell our time now if we watch closely this will work as normal it's the same having time so now that we have this we can check if this works if these two are the same it's working i want to have some more control and this will be our out so what should we do now we should set all this to an hda this will be set to out so every time this is the output let's say this shift c shift c now we have this sub network this will be our red time i'm going to say red time tutorial right if we hop in here we can edit parameters and move this aside so we're going to hop in here and grab some things to our network we're going to set this to invisible and we're going to start moving things like so we don't need the time here this is not going to be changed we're going to move the following we really need this we're going to hop in and move the scale here our scale will be in fact our time or uh, i'm going to leave the scale it's the same to be honest i'm going to go backwards and we're going to take this one and move this one here these are the inputs that we need or we might need this time step is not useful not really and everything here we're going to make this tighter using a folder and put the, everything inside this will be the same as this one it, is, it will be time and instead of tabs i want to have a simple so now that we have this we're going to make another folder which will be set to interpolation simple it will be interpolation and now oops interpolation there we go we're going to move these attributes around this will be the attributes we want to move how do we want to move it and the names we're going to set our folder inside our interpolation we're going to move everything inside the folder name which will be the same 
attributes and I believe this is all we need or oh, we might need one more thing here at a time which will be an integer we're going to call it a frame start we're going to apply everything see now we're going to move inside or outside in fact I'm going to copy parameter hop in move here and it's going to go to the scale that is ready nice and on our frame start we're going to go to frame start copy in this case it will be one we're going to hop in and set this to frame start here now everything is set and we can test this out we add all the simulation this should work as intended if we do a tiny animation on our scale let's say for example here and then it will remain and it will go back to one which you see this being simulated animated slow motion as intended this evaluation mode in fact is implicit so we can just make this make this invisible you don't actually need it and this should be it next thing is to create the shell asset we're going to rename it to whatever you want here this will be the label we're going to accept and well that's about it you have a, a new hda to make every time you apply and you accept and next time you well every time you have the time tutorial and here it is i have this one and now that i see i forgot one tiny thing you might want to have this button so if you want to update this and add the reset button here you just need to go to type properties hop in go to the solver and drag the simulation button here apply and accept then remember save the node type and match current definition you are going to use the retime tutorial hda and you will have the button here and as you can see it works flawlessly remember if you move this to let's say 48 your simulation will start on frame 48 hello guys i hope that the tutorial worked for you and as always stay tuned for the next one please hop in into the discord channel where you can always have every single update for my videos and as always thanks for watching Thank you.